Hey guys, so I bought my dog a pretty high dollar kennel a while back. He has kind of an anxiety issue when thunder rolls around and the weather gets real bad. I was having problems with him breaking out of his kennel at night when I wasn't at home, if any of the weather came through. And I used to try to keep him in my bathroom, but he ended up tailoring a hole in the wall, took out all the sheetrock. I'll try to post that picture here after this. So I started looking around online, looking at all the kennels that said they could handle a lot of uh, destruction, I guess, for lack of a better word. So I ended up buying a Lucky Duck kennel. Now this kennel was probably, I think it was $600 when I bought it. And overall, I think it's pretty good. I'll go through a few of the features and show you what it is. And I will show you the one thing that I do not like about this kennel. And I have emailed the company about my issue because I have to get one of the hinges replaced. And they ended up sending me a replacement hinge uh, just on warranty. Um, they didn't ask for a receipt or anything like that. I really didn't ask them to send one. I just wanted to know if they had one I could buy. And they went ahead and sent it. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you guys what I like about it and what is the one thing I would change about it if they did a little redesign. All right, so this is the kennel. It is made of a heavy duty plastic. Uh, you can see the tools there because I had to make a little modification to try to get my dog from not busting out when I'm not here, when weather comes through. Uh, I just feel a lot more comfortable if he's in his kennel, not running around the house and I really can't have him um, tearing more drywall up and stuff like that so uh, you can look here on the top there's two handles that makes it really easy to carry around um, I'm 5'5 five five or so and not the most strong person and I don't have a problem loading this in my truck bringing it places if I need to so it's really nice for that you can see on this side here if you have it in the back of your truck, you can put some uh, straps here, and they have them on the back as well. So that's really nice. I don't use it like that, but I could see it being pretty convenient. Um, here's the front. You can see that it has two hinges, one right here. So when you go to lock it, it has a spring on this hinge, and it pops up. And then on the bottom, you push it, and it pops down. And then this is to actually open it here. You can just push it down and turn it. And on the bottom, same thing. You just go and turn it. So that's the front. On the bottom, there are little uh, plastic pieces. So it's not going to slide around on your floor. It doesn't uh, move. It's kind of like a little rubber footing. It's pretty nice. Um, the inside... See, Bruce runs right in. Sit down, buddy. And uh, this is the hinges I was talking about that I had a few issues with. Um, specifically, this one on the bottom. You can see that I have a little piece of metal here to prevent this from turning out of its little spot. And then Bruce can actually push the hinge up and pop the bottom out, and that's how he was getting out. Here you can kind of see what I was talking about with that uh, spring. So it's a little bit harder for him to turn it out up here if the spring is there. But once he kind of scratched it enough and got rid of this spring on the bottom, um, he was, it's able to just uh, come out really easily. And you can see the springs are on the left. Kind of what I showed you, how they just pop out. And then... What I did was I just drilled two little holes around that little L shaped on the hinge and had some trapping wire and just kind of looped it around the piece that would spin. You can see it right here. So I looped it around there to kind of hold it in place so Bruce couldn't actually spin that around and get out. But overall, I think the kennel is, I think it's worth the price. The people online said that um, they're coming out with a plate to put over those two little hinges. I guess it's just going to screw on top, but um, 
if they fix that, I think it's definitely worth your money for the peace of mind, especially if you have a dog that likes to tear through the cheap plastic kennels you'll get at any of the big box stores or the wire cages you can find on Amazon. I've gone through a few of those and Bruce just goes crazy with them, but he seems to like this one. He goes in it by himself. Um, yeah, so I would recommend it, but they can fix that one little problem and it'd make it a hundred times better.